From art collections to a collection that simply has to be seen to be believed, this episode of In Your Neighborhood has a little bit of everything. Wait, what's the matter? You aren't speeding or anything. Do you know why I pulled you over? No, I wasn't speeding. You crossed the center line and you were texting. In Pennsylvania, it's against the law to text while driving. I didn't, I didn't know. I hope you learned a lesson. Don't drive distracted. Next time, it can be much worse. Yes, officer. Just drive! Welcome to In Your Neighborhood, I'm Jennifer Wakeman. Well, when you think of Shemokin, the first word that pops into your head may not be art, but it should be. And that's all thanks to the Northumberland County Council for the Arts. The former Shemokin Area High School on Arch Street was transformed into the Arts Center by Northumberland County in 1999. The county had a particular vision for the use of the building. They bought the building here and wanted to utilize the auditorium. And so they thought the best way to do that would be to start an arts council and have it based in the building so that they could uh, use the auditorium for shows and various things. And so the Northumberland County Council for the Arts and Humanities was born. It wasn't too long before folks began to have a bigger vision for the old high school. Well, Chet Davis, who was teaching art and is an artist himself, he was teaching art in uh, at Luzerne Community College on the fourth floor of this building. And he had come to me and he said that the uh, gallery, that this space would make a beautiful gallery. Since the building is owned by Northumberland County, Schaefer approached the county commissioners with the idea of opening a fine art gallery in the building. With the commissioner's approval, things moved forward quickly. Chet started the gallery. Uh, we cut the ribbon on November the 24th, 1999. And uh, after that, he sought donations for new lighting, um, benches, and the carpeting in here. Originally, this space was part of the high school's cafeteria. The gallery is operated by a committee which functions under the auspices of the Arts Council. Claude Harrington is the gallery coordinator and an artist in her own right. I'm from Paris, and actually I moved when I was about 21 to the States and I've been in New Jersey all that time until up three years ago, and I've been in Shemokin since then. You know, we're just trying to, you know, always have someone showing. There is a little time, maybe during the year around Christmas and the beginning of the year where we have bare walls, but basically uh, within a few days in between shows, those walls are always full between photography or any type of artwork. Right. Exhibits are displayed for a month with nine or ten different shows each year, offering the public ample opportunity to stop in for a look. The gallery, I think, is just very well presented and we do have someone that comes and actually would do take care of all the hanging of the painting. Her name is Melissa White. Um, we have also a reception, uh, usually uh, when the, the show starts, um, like uh, on a Friday night from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. And hopefully we're hoping to get, you know, people just come in to at least be aware that there is a show, you know, for a month. Finding artists to show their work has not been a problem. For next year, except two, two months, we're all booked for next year. Most of them are regional, are regional artists. We have had some shows that were from people outside of the area occasionally, but the vast majority of them are from around here. And a lot of people actually do approach us about exhibiting. Like they've come to a show, they've you know come to see someone else's artwork and they let us know that they're artists and how could they get involved. Artists from outside the area with ties to Shemokin often show their work at the gallery. We've also had people come to the exhibit or through membership that have had relatives in different states that knew artists and they ask if they could come into Shemokin and exhibit. Uh, for example, uh, the Knobles are members of the Arts Council and they have a relative in New York City who's an artist and she came to our gallery and she had an exhibit. The gallery has received rave reviews from visitors. 
We have had compliments from people that have come in from outside the area telling us that this is just as nice as some of the galleries that they've been in in New York City. And that's a compliment mm -hmm. for a small town like this. And many area residents are taking advantage of the exhibits. School groups, um, you know, different uh, organizations will bring a group through, mm -hmm. um, which is nice to see. Sure. They're really taking advantage of, you know, the area that we have. And, um, but again, too, it's a well-kept secret because even people in town still don't know that there's a gallery here. The Arts Council sponsors a number of additional programs and events, including the Anthracite Heritage Festival of the Arts, which takes place in Shimokan this month on May 24th and 25th. In the Arts Center building, the Arts Council has made classrooms available for art instruction. Lisa Welch is one of the teachers. Jeannie asked if myself and another art teacher would be interested in using that space to hold classes because it's, a, it's just a well-lit, um, large, spacious area and really was perfect for holding classes. There were lots of tables, there were lots of chairs, you know, it was just a good fit. Welch's classes are mostly for children ages four and up, while Gloria Zielinski offers adult classes. We both had established um, studios previously and it just, it made more sense for us all to be here, you know, because Gloria's involved with the Arts Council too, and um, it just makes sense for all of us to be here under this roof. Uh, and then when there are events, you know, like when there are exhibits in here, I just walk my students down the hall and they see every exhibit that's here. You know, they get to see all of that. Welch believes her instruction fills a void for her students, even if they have art available to them at their school. And they don't really teach fundamentals, where I teach drawing and I teach painting fundamentals. And so even if kids have a, a, an art program in school, they, they may not be getting what I offer, mm -hmm. um, unfortunately. So. I try to fill that void you know, with the, the courses that I offer. We want to keep training artists and we want to just keep the, um, the, the public's um, interest in it as well because as you're training artists, those artists need to have people to you know, support them and so mm -hmm. you know, we always want to be um, keeping that out there as an option. The gallery is a great resource for these budding artists. Our, our kids have opportunities to exhibit during the festival. They have opportunities to exhibit in here. They have opportunities to exhibit in the studios. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and basically that's it. Like if you play sports, your games are your opportunity to show your stuff. Well, for artists, you know, exhibits are our opportunity to show our stuff. And so the Arts Council and, our, and the building here are providing us that opportunity. When we visited, the gallery was exhibiting works by Claude Harrington. I try to put a variety, a little bit of everything, you know, like I love flowers, I guess it shows. And then, uh, you know, I always try to put like my French treats because, you know, that means something to me. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, like I said, I just try to put, I love colors and I try to put, uh, you know, try to make it as colorful as I could have had. Mm -hmm. You know, I also have painting that I like, can move neutral, but I just love those. And, uh, you know, when I see Shemokin, I want to see colors. Harrington has been given the opportunity to further enrich Shemokin with colors as part of a mural project. The, the Arts Council has plans to do, over the next five years, a dozen murals in Shemokin. The first mural hangs on the Bressy Building, and we got a sneak peek at the second one. It's going to be hung right across from the Bressy mural. Oh, wow, okay. That's, that's finished, and Claude did that one by herself. <laughs> Mm -hmm. and it's um, Central Drugstore and Curb Market. There'll be a third one hung sometime in the summer after hers, hers is hung, and then we are now working on doing a fourth one. So by the end of this summer, we should have four murals finished. Between arts festivals, murals, art classes, and a gallery full of exhibits year-round, art is thriving in Shimokan. Sometimes even Jeannie Schaefer is surprised by the wealth of talent. I was absolutely flabbergasted at the talent in this town. I never ever realized there were that many people who dabbled in art mm -hmm. in this town. I mean, there's people that uh, are artists that w probably don't even know this is here or they haven't, you know, taken advantage of an exhibit or they don't feel like they're their art is worth exhibiting. But there's loads of people in this area that are artists, and I'm just shocked at that. Yeah. I just didn't think that, you know, a little coal mining town would have that many artists. <laughs> but we do, we do, and there's probably a lot more that we don't even know about. The gallery is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., and it is free to the public. Both the gallery and Arts Council are supported through memberships and donations. 
You can find more information online at www.nccarts.com. Just ahead, we're going to an unbelievable museum in Bloomsburg. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. <laughs> 